This ocean has greeted many warriors before. Press the feet of readied men to fight a fight for another. The outbreak of war made a rip in the waves. No tide or current could change when news of a battalion drifted through the Pacific and returned here with prospect. 1302, 1915, the first Māori contingent leaves home for war. Marching three months behind on the shores of Naranek were a new set of boys. Stretching out, holding arms, bearing melon and links, the successive contingents began. Over 600 Nguyen's and Cook Islands combined enlisted as soldiers of war. As if tearing a man from his mother, hood landed and sting like salt spray blown in from the outbreak of a conflicting planet and the nation they raised up to serve seeks a shortcut with their identity. For administrative ease, New Zealand attempts to group the two nations as one. Trading vakas for vessels, sailing to new shores, separated nations take heed as the new Māori contingent that dusky warriors so deemed in print was the pigment in their skins who hot for the dawn. New shores brought new climates, new diets, new reo. The fight for survival started long before the battles. Take the feet of a man who lived rooted to the land and bind them in leather to march a concrete mile. Come born from the equator to a pale lit sun and the air's sharp teeth bite straight to the bone. When born from an island untouched by virus, pneumonia strong grass stretched the throat skin thin and narrow neck's name never fit the claim so well. 2512-1915, narrow neck claims his first victim. The fight for survival was meant to start on enemy lines. Under the mask of honour came the best of the islands, privileged to serve this foreign land, join the war of a world to defend their beloved British Empire, or was it to defend their beloved economy? There is mana in the service of the fallen and returned, but how to give valour to a soldier without giving thus to the war? Can you justify the tear in our history of man? Did the other side truly look like an enemy? Yet through the trenches of alien earth and screaming barrels spitting crooked steel and tears to blood red heavens as brothers watched brothers fall. Through the outbreak of disease hitting soft and silent, spitting blood to the crooked earth as brothers watched brothers slowly fall. Your slender collar coast took claim of the so-called dusky warrior. Were they named so for their resilience until the very last sun? No man left behind, even when the ungodly pull at the ties of our united forces. The native contingent were bound arms. Once separated by the ocean, brought together by its tides, as one you left us. In a wave of warriors gracing the feet of new shores, and as one you return to us. The only New Zealand battalion to return as one. <laughs>